Hidey ho, boys and girls. How's the old mustache looking? It uh, needs a trim again, I guess. I don't know. Probably nose hairs too. But uh, yeah, sometimes you want to let those grow in when it's been as smoky as it has here. Um, California, stop burning your trash and put your fires out, okay? All right, yeah. Hey guys, it is a remarkably cool day all of a sudden. We've had some some rain finally. I say finally, like it's like the second time in like two months or something like that we've had rain and I will take it. The smoke has been miserable. I'm sure it's so much worse in California. I feel so bad for you guys out there. Um, thank you to my supporters, my customers, my friends from out there um, for the encouragement uh, this year with getting the, the channel going again. And uh, thank you to the latest critique. And uh, I will say, uh, you know who you are. I cut out that part of the video, even though I'm right, I'm not gonna talk about it because I cut my monetiz monetization on the video. And we all know where things are headed and we all know what these groups are about. And uh, 13 years as a federal law enforcement officer, I do know a thing or two. So uh, anyway, um, this video, the video, the title, yeah, it's clickbait. I am serious, stop buying guns. Put the money on something else, put the money on food. Get some water storage, get some water filters, get a Katadin micro water filter. It's the aluminum one, it can do enough water filtration for five years for a family and uh, start thinking outside the box as to what you're gonna do if civil war breaks out and we have no food. You are going to be fecked. Yeah, that's English for you know what, screwed. Um, there's a lot more things that uh, your money would be better off at and maybe buy some silver, some gold, you know, some tradable stuff like that. Uh, myself, we put a lot of money into, well, food storage and then we divided it up in different areas so it's not actually just sitting in one location. Uh, I advise you to do the same if you can. If you're thinking you're gonna have to leave somewhere like California and move out to the country, maybe you wanna put a storage bunker, something out there in a, you know some area, some land you've bought or something or friends bought and go in as a group on something. But start thinking outside the box because things are getting really, really ugly. And um, you know, that, that brings me to one of the major things for this video. Uh, there have been so many murders, so many shootings and stuff like that. Racism is, is at an all time high right now. And uh, that's why myself personally, I invested in the body armor, the shot stop body armor. I bought the level three plus PS but I'm upgrading to the GT now, and that stuff's back ordered till November. Uh, no, October, I think. Um, I'm not gonna say personally why I did that, why I'm switching up. There's nothing wrong with the P three plus PS or the PA. Uh, the PS is the lower level. That's the thicker, slightly heavier stuff, but it is the most budget friendly. Uh, I'm going to the GT just because I, because of possible threats and stuff like that and uh, that I see out there and uh, it's a little bit better fitting. It is quite a bit more expensive though so take that into consideration. Uh, other things I think you should have on hand, peroxide, some alcohol for cleaning wounds, that kind of thing because infections are a major major deal if the uh, if everything goes down Anything from a little cut on the finger that gets infected could turn into strychnine and blood poisoning. And yeah, that's a, that's a major deal if you can't go to the hospital and get a, a sluice, a sleuth of antibiotics to, to fix your innards. Uh, and that would be a sad way to lose a child or something like that. I'm not predicting the future. I do think, but I am gonna say, I think the writing's on the wall. Every, every great nation, society has a shelf life and usually it's about 250 years. We're over that right now. And unfortunately, um, and I quote a great person uh, who I think 
without meaning to actually predicted what's going on. Uh, so back a couple of years ago on my way down to shot stop, uh, talking and talking to my mom on the phone, I was just saying like, look, mom, the, the media is lying. All of them are lying on one side and the other. They're both lying. And 70% of people count on social media alone for their political information. And 70% of that is pretty much nonsense. So you can, you can take what you're listening to online on both sides and roughly half of that or is what people are believing out there. So I've said this before and I'll say it again uh, to the world is gray. It is not black and white and you should not be extreme on either side. You should be somewhere in the middle and a reasonable person. Uh, those are the kind of people that make the world turn. It's extremists on either side that, that do things uh, that, that destroy nations. And we're seeing that right now. And uh, I hope to God, literally, that this calms down over the winter and people start doing a bit more research as to what's going on, what's behind all this. Uh, I'll put some video links in the in the comment section below. I hope you guys will take the time to to watch through those and, and think about them and question whether they're true or not and really just question everything that you're hearing because we've got everything from deep fakes to this media that is just disgusting, like just absolutely disgusting. They are literally working to destroy our nation, our world, really. And... Uh, it's, yeah, I'm just kind of speechless that, that people are this bad at this point. Uh, and I guess I hope I'm wrong. I hope that there is, I hope for hope uh, as to what's coming on. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I'm going to do what's best for my family and for myself, which is looking after my family and making, making sure they're all taken care of. You know, and do what I can for my neighbors and friends and stuff. And, uh, you know, um, yeah, I just hope things can chill the heck out. So that's it for now on this one. I'm going to do a, play a little dress up here. I'm going to get my body armor on, do some long range shooting, and I'm just going to plank some rocks and stuff across the canyon. And it's a real safe area to shoot uh, because... There's no road access or anything into into where I'm actually shooting. I've got clear vision, and I encourage all of you to remember the five safety rules. And uh, having nearly been hit by ricochets numerous times now living in Idaho, I will say, remember to check what's behind your backstop. Know what is behind your target and beyond for the distance that that rifle can send that round. So I know in our local area, there's been two people shot by ricochets in the last two year, actually year and a half. So guys, it does happen. Um, think real hard about where you're training. Uh, and if you really, really must buy a gun, get yourself like a Glock Airsoft or something like that and get them for your kids too and start practicing and stuff and save on the ammo and save on the money and have some fun. So, okay, that was eight minutes of me blathering. All right, guys, thanks for your support. Really appreciate you. And uh, if you haven't already, if you thought this made sense to you, please hit like, subscribe, and ding that bell on the bottom. And uh, if you're needing anything in the way of body armor, we are selling Shot Stop body armor because we feel that that is the best body armor available right now. It is. Uh, it starts at about $120-ish for backpack plates, and you can get backpack backpack plates that are rated for rifle for pist pistol only or rifle and pistol and then you can move up into all the rifle and pistol plates i will say our lowest level plate has stopped a 338 lapua at a very short range without any uh, piercing of the body armor itself so i would encourage you to look into that uh, please stay away from steel plates uh, the spalling on those is a bad enough that it could actually lead to fatal injuries in itself because what happens when that bullet hits is it turns into flechettes, little discs with jagged edges and they fly everywhere. If you don't believe me, take a steel piece of steel out in the tar out into 
the forest or something like that, shoot it a bunch of times above a clear area of uh, dirt and then look it underneath that, you will see a line that follows right underneath that target that spreads out about five feet on either side where that shrapnel, that those flechettes of copper and uh, lead are, are spreading out and hitting the ground. So that's my safety thing. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you haven't already, please go and check out Pace Arms LLC. He is based out of Washington. He is a super good guy, and he was able to get me my EOTech within, uh, I think it was a day, a day after I ordered it. And now, maybe that's changed since then, but that was only about a month ago. So, again, check out Pace Arms LLC. Uh, this video is not sponsored by anyone. It is paid for by me and my company. I will should also say that we are doing, we are open. Idaho is in stage four of opening up and uh, we are open for private lessons. That's either a private individual or a private group. So if you're interest, interested in learning some handguns, some AR-15 or some long range shooting and you don't want to be part of a 30 or so uh, person group, um, please check out rangetech.us and we'll do our best to get you scheduled on one of these upcoming fall weekends when the weather is nice and cool and beautiful. So thanks guys, thanks again, appreciate y'all, and I hope you're all staying safe. Please stay out of trouble, don't go looking for it. There will be enough, I think, in the near future to satisfy us all. Alright, that's it guys, bye for now.